All right, so we in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. But mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying its power, have nothing, nothing to do with such people. Mm. So I didn't even know what I was going to say. The Lord just said, uh, <laughs> that's the video you doing today. Open up Second Timothy. Actually, he said, go to the scripture where it talk about this at. And that's what you're going to speak on. It took me a minute, y'all, to get to Second Timothy because uh, I got this hard Bible, so... I've went back and forth past 2 Timothy quite a bit. <laughs> Till I got to it. But I know the scripture well. And the reason why I want to bring that up is because immediately when I saw I have nothing to do with such people, I already knew where God wanted me to go with it. Have nothing to do with such people. So I made a video a while back talking about why would you have non-Christian friends? I don't understand it. Why would you want to have that influence on you? Why would you want that to get in you? Why would you want somebody who is denying Christ, who does not want to submit to Christ, who is in rebellion to Christ, why would you want to invite them in your inner circle? I don't understand that. You can love them, but you want to learn to love people like that over there. Not bring them over here. Not bring them into your inner circle so they have access to your heart. Why would you want a child to Satan? Why would you want a heathen to be... Your closest friend, what draws you so much to the world? See, if you got a non-Christian friend, that ain't an issue with that non-Christian friend. That's an issue with you. Why are you drawn to that? Why are you attracted to that? This person ain't talking Jesus. This person ain't talking about the will of God. This person ain't talking about submission, surrender, taking up their cross. This person ain't talking about crucifying the flesh. This person ain't talking about what they need to do to share the gospel. This person ain't talking about what God is doing in their lives to be able to sanctify them, to purify them, to bring them closer into the image of Christ. These are all things that your world should be consumed of. So why are you drawn to this person that don't want nothing to do with that? I don't know. But here's the next place I want to go with that is don't you know that there are even Christians that have become boastful. It's all about me and what I can do. Let me tell you something. I'm so quick to give the glory to God because <laughs> your girl is a situation on her own. And I need the Lord to get me to where he needs to go. He needs me to go and to keep me on that track. It is God that does it. It's not me. Oh, Jennifer don't went her own way and said, I got it. I... <sighs> I'm thinking of all these different things I got to filter through. <laughs> not that. Okay, not that. Don't say that. <laughs> I'm still an ambassador of Christ, y'all. <laughs> I don't. 
laid and got comfortable in hell when I had my own life and I ran it into the ground, y'all. I ran it beneath the ground to hell, y'all. <laughs> I need Jesus. I need Jesus. But there are some Christians who are like, nah, I got this. They in complete control. They haven't surrendered to the Lord. They are not following God. They are following themselves and treating Jesus like a lap dog. Like, come follow me. Come do what I say. Come bless what I want. There are Christians that are extremely proud, that are abusive physically, emotionally. There are Christians who are unholy, who are without love, who are rash, who are conceited. You see, it just don't say worldly people. It don't say people that are not Christian. It says have nothing to do with such people. Nothing to do with them. See, you're feeling like you have to be around them. You have to be in their presence. You have to respond to the call. You have to respond to the text. You have to be in relationship with them. Yeah, somebody is dying to be in relationship with you. Are they lovers of themselves? Lovers of these things? If you are seeing the fruit of these things, then that is not the person for you. You need to have nothing, nothing to do with them. Stop talking to them. Stop engaging them. Stop hanging around them. Stop being in relationship with them. You feel guilty. You feel like you have to because it's a familial tie. Because it's somebody on your job and you feel like you have to. No, you don't. Have nothing to do with these people. That is not of God. If it is not of God, it is of Satan. Why do you want to hang out? Why do you want to be around Satan? Why do you want Satan to have access to you through this individual? It says have nothing to do with such power. Y'all, I was a while ago at a Christian function that the church put together. And there was a lady there that was my age. She was so cool. Had it been, you know, years and years and years and years ago when I was in the world, oh, it would have been my best friend for show for show. <laughs> oh, you know, them people where you just see their character and you're like, oh, you fun. <laughs> Oh yeah, we can we can uh hang out together and then you love and you real and you yeah, okay. But yo and Christian. But when I saw this stuff going on, when I saw the fruit, when I heard the conversation, she was like, oh, we gonna be best friends. No, I ain't ever talking to you again. <laughs> I didn't say that. That's what I thought. And it's what I stood on. I still <laughs> ain't said a word <laughs> to that individual. Have nothing to do with such people. No, I'm not obligated to enter a relationship with you. I'm not obligated to maintain a relationship with you. When I see all this stuff and see that you're committed to it because we all fall short, but this is okay for you to have a lifestyle in which you are a lover of yourself. You are disobedient to your parents. You just don't care about what it is that they're telling you to do and you're operating by self and not by the direction of God in those areas, come on. Have nothing to do with. Tell yourself that even the Bible is telling you that it's okay not just to create distance, to take a step back, but that you do not have to entertain. You do not have to be in the presence of. You do not have to maintain a relationship. You could just walk away because the Bible tells you have nothing to do with those people. Not only do you not be friends with them, be friendly with them, have nothing to do with them. When you see people that are in action, 
acting and not of God, get away from them, stay away.